So if you have a situation where you'd like to reset the model that you're working on to factory default settings, and a perfect example, I've been doing demonstrations with this here. You know, we programmed some mixes, we did all kinds of crazy stuff, and really that model, you know, is of no use at this point. It'd be much easier to start from scratch. I can reset that model. Actually, I can do one of two things. I can either delete that model, which we will show you in the model select screen. However, in this case, I'll show you how to reset the model in model reset. So in the settings screen, I'm going to go to the initial setup. So in the near bottom right hand corner, you'll see model reset. I'm going to go ahead and hit that icon and it says model reset. Now in order to do this, you really need to have your receiver hooked up. For this demonstration, I don't have a receiver attached here. Um, and in fact, it shows in the top right hand corner, as we've discussed in previous videos, that um, connection icon has a slash through it. That tells you that you're not connected. Obviously, I'm not connected because I don't even have a receiver attached here. But if I was connected, I would go here, I would hit yes, and it would have reset my model to factory defaults. The model select screen allows you to select models that you've already programmed. It allows you to add new models and it's also the place where you're going to be able to delete models. So the model select screen, you'll notice again at the bottom of the screens, there's the three, the dashboard, the AS3X settings, and on the right hand side is model select. Go ahead and press the model select, and you'll see in this case, we've got one model program, which we've been programming throughout this video, and then there's a new model, which is a plus, okay? So say for example, I want to add a new model. I'm going to go in and add a new model. Once you select a new model, it opens you up in the wizard, and then it's necessary to go ahead and proceed through that wizard to do your initial setup. So once you're through the initial setup, of course, you can go back to the uh, model select screen. And so the model select, I now have new model um, zero, which I haven't named. You know, I obviously, I should have named it. I have new model one, and then I have that new model icon. Now, another thing that I'm able to do with this screen is I'm able to delete a model. So let me go ahead and press and hold until they start to um, shake. And by the way, you'll also see that I can copy the model. So what I want to do is I'm going to delete my new model one by pressing the minus button and it says delete model one are you sure okay poof model one's gone now model number zero I'm gonna copy it do I want to copy model zero yes I do now as you can see we've made a copy and obviously if I want to go in I can actually um, select that model and then I can go in and uh, make changes to that model uh, by um, going through my normal AS3X setting screens and I can adjust, you know, in my dashboard for example, you know, all those same values will appear there and then I can make adjustments to that second model if I choose to.